the driveway like he was in the Indy 500. What makes that man drive? Why does the cabana look like this? Blair, I asked you a question. Yeah, and I hear you. What, may I ask, has been going on here? I slept with Todd in this cabana, okay? Why don't you deal with it? How's your dip? Where is she? Out. Out where? That's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to no, know. Wait a minute. Don't give me that crap. Just tell me where she is. I ain't telling. But she did pass along a message, though. And what would that be? She said that you'd come here and that you would be storming through the house like a rapid dog. She got that, right? And also, she said it's none of your damn business where she is. She can't avoid me forever. Oh, and she wanted me to tell you to drop dead. So annoying. Can I help? I'd give you a tissue if I had one. It's okay. Nobody carries around tissues, except my grandma. She always keeps one tucked under his sleeve. I really am sorry about your brother taking off. Greg's got places to go, people to save, so fine. We don't need him in a stupid town anyway. I kind of did. I know. I'm sorry. This whole thing sucks. I wish I could just order him to stay. Not that he'd listen. And if my parents said yes to the surgery, it wouldn't be going anywhere. But even then, as soon as it's over, he'd bolt. Greg doesn't care about me or my family. Sean's right. All he cares about is himself. Hi there, can I get you anything to drink? Oh, I'm expecting someone. I'll just wait till they get here. Okay, so no worries. I guess that means I'm right on time. Hey, I saw you with your brother. I mean, he seems like he really cares about you. All he cares about is his money and being a big man. That's a little harsh. He wouldn't even be in Landia if it wasn't for your uncle paying him a boatload of cash to do your surgery. And your parents won't even let you have the surgery. So Greg's like, later. I'm sorry. You don't need to be hearing about my problems right now. You've got enough going on. Please, after everything you've done for me, you helped me pass the math final. And when Justin and Becca were being jerks to me, you had my back. And, I mean, you made me play the piano again. And you were the only person my age to come visit me at the hospital. It was the right thing to do. Come on, I'm not exactly A-list. I mean, I'm sure people gave you crap for it. Look at this face. Does it look like the face of a person who cares what other people think? See, that's what makes you so cool. You're like the best friend I've ever had. I'm really sorry you're upset. Sean's a lucky man. But I've got to tell my little brother, it's not cool to keep a beautiful woman waiting. I'm early. Well, I hope he gets here soon. I'm sure he'll want to say goodbye. Goodbye? I've got a plane to catch. Oh, leaving so quickly. Yeah. Your brother's surgery isn't happening. Your mom and Matthew's father think it's too risky. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. So there's no point in my sticking around. It's a shame, though. I don't think they understand what a big mistake they're making. How is it a mistake to want to keep their son alive? I would never advise a surgery if I didn't feel confident that I could bring Matthew through it. Confidence isn't a guarantee, and when you're talking about a son's life, guarantees are what you need. So you're willing to see your brother confined to a wheelchair for the rest of his life? If it's between that and not seeing him at all, yes. Take that filthy thing to a dump. One that will allow you to burn it. <laughs> you bet, Dr. Lord. Whatever you say, ma'am. Come on, is that really necessary? I'm having the entire cabana fumigated. You and Todd again? I mean, the man has lied to you, deceived okay, you, dragged you through every court. Okay, that is enough. What is it that keeps you so attached to him? Oh, never mind. He's Mount Everest. He's there. 
It is the summit you okay, have okay, to climb. Okay, you know, actually, that part has never been our problem. All right. So was it worth it? Actually, yes. And not for reasons that you think. I figured, how hard can it be? Point and shoot. Your aim is off. You're pulling to the left with your kickback. Fine. How do I stop doing that? Just keep it steady. Support your wrist with your offhand. Thanks for the tip. Since when do they let civilians in here? And last time I checked, you couldn't customize your target. I sweet talked my way in. That's something I don't need much practice at. Right. And the uh, the target? <clears throat> I just needed a focal point. Well, targets with Manning's face on it could be a growth industry in this town. I think I used to have a dartboard. I didn't think you were the type, John. I'm not. Marty gave it to me as a gift. All right. Tell me where she is. Nope. You know, you work for me, not her. She said that you tell me that, too. Such a bull. Give me that thing. No can do. You hired me to protect her against anybody who might mess with her, and right now, that'd be you. <laughs> All right, can you at least tell me when she'll be back? She didn't say. She did pass along a message, though. She wants me to tell you that meeting you was the worst thing that could have ever happened to her. That Todd Manning was, quote, the biggest mistake of my life. The lady seems real clear on what she thinks of you. Yeah, and for once, I agree with her. Mind if I have a seat? Actually, yes. No, but I'd like you to understand my side of this. I think I do. I mean, it must be disappointing to come all the way to Landview and not collect that exorbitant fee of yours. I have a waiting list of patients who would happily pay my fee. I came here to help your brother, to give him a chance to walk again. And risk his life in doing that. Why don't you understand why my family said no? Because this operation would get him out of this chair. To give him a real life. He has a real life, thank you. Chair or no chair? Well, he doesn't agree. What if this was your brother? Would you want Sean to take the chance that you're asking Matthew to take? Or maybe you would. Maybe Sean's right. Maybe family just isn't that important to you. What are you doing here? We went to Blair's first, but I pulled in the driveway and you were screeching out at about 90. Nice hair, by the way. What do you want? I need a minute with Mr. Manning, please. He's all yours. I'm late to meet someone. Can I get you anything? Can you get me something? How about my freedom from you? It's either this or take a kickboxing class. I'm mad as hell. Never a good thing to pick up a gun when you're mad as hell. Give me a break, John. You've never come in here to just blow off some steam? No, never. <laughs> I guess I just went back on the force, so I need to requalify. Mm -hmm. And that's it? There's nothing else pushing you to the edge? Nope. Still seeing Marty? Some. Some. How's that working out for you? Fine. Todd's not creating problems between you? Did I say there was a problem? I well, didn't have to. After what Todd did to Marty in college, you don't get over that, ever. And now the two of them have a grandchild together. They're connected forever. It's complicated. Yeah. Makes what he did to me seem like nothing, even after today. Manning finds a way to outdo himself. Yeah. He slept with another woman. And of course, I walked in on it. Were you really surprised? Oh, you would have been surprised too, John. Why is that? Because the woman Todd Manning was having sex with was your wife. 